and we are live. Hey, what is up, everyone? Tyler Ramsby here, back with some more hands-on live hacking here on Twitch. Uh, so welcome to the video. Whether you're watching me on Twitch right now, it's an honor to have you. Or if you're catching me after the fact on my YouTube channel, hey, thanks for checking out. I sincerely mean that. I enjoy having a community to kind of work through and learn some of these things together. I apologize if you're joining me live on Twitch right now. I started a little bit later. Um, was at a family event, so just got home a little bit ago. And so we will we will dig into things. We're going to continue what we were doing last night, and I was working on the forest network, or forest machine, rather, on Hack the Box. And I do actually have to work for my day job, which is now my night job tonight. So I will stream for just a little bit, and then I actually have to do some after-hour maintenance for my real job that actually pays me. So just know that, but I should still be able to stream for quite a while tonight. Just getting some of the audio stuff adjusted. For those of you on Twitch, please let me know if the audio is too quiet, too loud, music sounds bad, all that good stuff. It's hard for me to be able to tell while I'm streaming. Just gonna adjust the music a little bit for my ears. I'm gonna turn it down for me a little bit, but I'll turn it up for you guys. Let's see. There we go, that's good. Let me share my screen. We got Kali Linux pulled up. Let me get Twitch pulled up on the side. So for those of you watching on Twitch, what up? Thanks for joining. If you don't mind just sharing, hey, how'd you come across the stream? Would love to hear from you in the chat if you have a Twitch account. But let's let's dive into it. I literally just got my VM booted. So we need to connect to the VPN network and all that stuff. So let's do that real quick. Okay, VPN's done. And here's what we have so far. So if you guys remember, we were able to get creds to this Alfresco uh, service account. And um, that's what we're gonna use to hopefully compromise the network tonight. There's a few paths that we can try to do. And I'll show you guys a little bit of what we're working with. Just to, just to recap, and I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on it since you can watch the other stream, but honestly, just to remind myself as well where we're at, make sure we can ping HTTP local, which we can. Um, and I extended the time earlier today, so we should have more than enough time to work. The nice thing about hack the box machines is they go for 24 hours and you can extend them any time to go for another 24 hours. So we don't have to restart our box and everything. It's already live, ready to go. Let's go ahead and open up Bloodhound because that will be the best way to see kind of what we're working with. So let's remain this to Neo4j. Open a new tab. Go to hack the box, go to forest, ls, cd to bloodhound, linux, and bloodhound, no sandbox. Get bloodhound pulled up for us. We're logging in, save the creds. And once again, for those of you just joining, we are finishing up the forest box on hack the box. So we did a lot of our work yesterday. I'm going to open up my notes as well. Forest right here. So you can see we've already done our scans. We're, we're so close to compromising this because we have this service account. They're a member of privilege IT accounts. They're actually an account operator. We can reset certain passwords, but we cannot yet reset the administrator password. But we're going to get to that hopefully here on Bloodhound. We have access to SVC Alfresco. So we can see he's owned, right? We can, we marked him as owned. We owned him. He's compromised. Yes, he is compromised. And if we, I like to call this Google Maps, right? We can target what we want to go to. If we just type in the domain, we can kind of see what are some attack vectors we have. So you can see our user, our owned user, is a member of service accounts right and just zoom out a little bit service accounts is a member of privilege it accounts privilege it accounts is a member of account operators account operators has generic all permissions to exchange windows permissions now if we click exchange windows permissions look at this this script contains exchange servers that run exchange commandlets on behalf of users via the management service its members have permissions to read and modify all windows accounts and groups this group should not be deleted if we have generic all permissions to that we can assign our account to this thing and then look we 
have access to the domain. Now I already grabbed the user flag. That is something I didn't show on on a stream last night, but I'll just show you guys where the user flag is located. You can do that with just this uh, service account user. What we're gonna do, oh, I typed the password wrong. We're gonna use evil WinRM to get our initial shell. And we're gonna try to stabilize our shell with like Metasploit or something, right? I haven't tried that yet, but let's let's give it a shot. Win RM, oh, evil win RM, I mean. Let's see if I remember the syntax. Dash I for IP, I think. Dash U for user. Dash P for password. Boom. So in order to get that first user flag, we just go to desktop, LS. There it is, there's the first user flag. So what we need to get to is the administrator flag. See, we don't have permission. I tried to just reset the password for administrators. That doesn't work. Now there's a few things that we can do. We are an account operator. We can also add ourselves to that one group. And let's go ahead and do that just to give ourselves as much permissions as we possibly can. And that group was exchange windows permissions, right? I just have to remember the syntax. So let me open up a new window here. It's add AD group member identity. Yeah, something like this. Exchange Windows permissions. Okay. Let's add our service account to it. Okay. Do our handy dandy group update for us. We're gonna exit, we're gonna reopen our session. And we should, apparently they can't clear. We should have permissions, but we don't have a fully interactive shell. Um, because we're using evil win rm so what i want to try to do and i have these notes from when i did throwback is i want to try to use this to get a interpreter shell just to make things a little easier to work with i did when i did throwback i did part of throwback i should say i copied these notes on how to do this exact thing we don't have to do the proxy chains part of it but we are gonna open this let's go ahead and just take this go there grab this can we make this go away I go like that there we go so let's open a new tab we'll rename this one shell get metasploit open oh we need to create the payload first as well I believe, yeah, MSF Venom. We're gonna create the payload quick. So while that loads, we'll just open another new tab. Windows, interpreter, reverse, HTTP, L host equals us, 10.10. .10 14.18 L port equals 1339 we'll do that F equals exe output file we'll call shell 1339.exe P 
pivot back over to this. Got the other thing pulled up. Search. Search multi-handler. Exploit multi-handler. I think that's what we need. Set our payload just so it matches. Interpreter, maybe. Froze up on me for a second there. Jeez. Interpreter. All right. Set L host 10.10.14.18. Set L port 1339. Oops, not LS options. I think we have everything set there, right? Let's start listening. Is our exploit done? There is shell 1339.exe. Let's go ahead and host that with the Python web server. Go back to our compromised host. We should have write permissions to our documents folder. I wonder if there's anything there right now. Nope, there's not. So we can w get our IP hosting on port 80 so we don't have to specify the port. Like that. Okay. Specify the use basic parsing parameter and try again. Let's just cert util it. Cert util URL cache, I think, def dash f for file. I might screw up this syntax. It's been a while since I've done this. Shell 1339.exe. And I think you have to specify the out file. There it is. There's shell 1339.exe. Make sure our interpreter are listening on there. run it we got an interpreter shot my friends okay 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 there's a few ways we can approach this, right? Um, first, if we just verify, I don't think it's who am I. Um, we can LS though. Right, so we, we do have our interpreter shell here. We might have to background it, see what we all have going on. But let's open our notes back up. And I'm gonna go, this is why notes are important, guys. These are all notes I've taken. Different courses I've done, I try to take notes on everything. We have the sweet attack map. I, I wish I could give credit, but I don't know where I got this. Someone posted it on LinkedIn. I don't know if there's credit on here. Oh, is it right here? This guy, Mayfly, Viking, and that person, you guys are awesome. This map is incredible, y'all. If you want it, ping me on Discord, I'll send it over to you. So if we track kind of where we're at, we've been following through this map. We don't need persistence. Let's go to, okay. We already have access. Jeez, now I'm lost at where we're at. We got one account on the domain, right? We do that. And we use Bloodhound. There's Bloodhound right there. We use Bloodhound. Now, where does this where does this green box go to? It goes up here. Okay, we're going to this box right here. Come on, zoom in. Trust relationships, forest to forest. So I don't think we need to abuse a specific trust relationship. We could do Mimikatz. We could, we could create a golden ticket. There's a few things we could do. Amoeba Man sent me an article I wanted to check out. 
Um, let me just pull this on my other screen. I'll get the article pulled up real quick. Oh, geez, we're messaging back and forth today. Let me scroll for a little bit so I find it. Okay. Five ways attackers exploit account operators. And we are an account operator. So scenario one, privilege escalation through change user passwords. We tried this. We my, my original goal was, hey, I'll just change the password of the administrator user. And it did not allow me to. Self-escalation of privileges, find computer target, find the administrative group that can administer the computer, add self to administrator group identify, which you already do, but some of the values like changing the administrator password is protected. Account now has admin access to RDP or SMB or any other. Change owner on a group, a persistent attack. Lesser known attacks. Now, if I remember right, he said, check out scenario four. Account operator has control of all attributes on user class objects, which we do. Computer class object is a subclass of user. See account operators and classes post. It's mapped on a computer object as in write or writes, or maybe it's five. Well, let's create an account. Can I create a user without a password? Probably not. Oh, I can't go back. I thought I'd have a better shell here. Just let this air out for a second. What did I do? Did I break it? What's it waiting for? New AD user. I just wanted to air out. Stop. Any Danny notepad. Will that work? Maybe not. We could try to run git system. So it doesn't seem to be working. We could check to see if that was created. Let's open the strut back into shell. number of different techniques to attempt to gain system. Oh, we have to type use priv first. 
get system. Was it load priv? Use priv. Oh. Okay, so we can do pipe impersonation, token duplication, print spooler variant. So if we use just git system, does it try to run all of it? So right now we are... I'm um, interpreter shell just seems to be buggy, don't you guys think? Slow. Maybe interpreter isn't the way to go. Operation timeout. Do we still have a connection? Maybe we don't have a connection at all. Maybe we should just start it back up. Let's just try it again. We'll just run that again. In the meantime, can I create a user over here? I don't think so. broke it by doing that. Can we enable like RDP access to the computer? Set item property name value zero. Let's try this. Is this doing anything? Nope, that doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Oh, I got taken out of my other group? Why would that happen? Okay, well, let's think about this. If we go back to C... We have this other user called Sebastian. He is just a domain user. Can we put him in the exchange windows permissions group? What was the syntax again?
Okay. Hmm. What what groups are we in again? Service accounts. So what if we put that guy in service accounts? Because then we can log into Sebastian, I think. Oh, we can't. So we can't seem, we can't seem to get a good shell on this computer. Like an interactive PowerShell session. I know yesterday I tried to just PowerShell from my Kali Linux box, but that didn't work either. Are we really gonna be stuck for this entire stream? <laughs> That's gonna suck. If we do our handy dandy like, what we do over here? I can't run system info. Come on. This buggy interpreter is. Let's go to Shell so slow when I connect back to it.
impersonation tokens available. I don't see any though. Oh, it's just saying. So we have delegation tokens available, but just as me. try PS exec instead we might get a better shell that way Oh, access denied. Gosh. <laughs> Hunter Boss said, last time I watched you, you had Bloodhound data. How far have you gotten since then? Dude, not very far, because I'm kind of puzzled on this. Um, let me show you this. Let me can help me think through this. Here's us. We're a member of service accounts which is a member of Privilege IT accounts, which is a member of account operators. So I thought, man, I have all the access, which is a member of, ex or which we have generic all permissions to exchange Windows permissions, which says uh, we can do commandments on behalf of users via the management service. I added myself to that group, but I can't like, I was hoping I could add myself to this group and then reset the administrator password and grab the system flag. Apparently that's too easy because it didn't work. I get access denied even when I'm in this group. I even did GP update force and actually redid my connection. Group domain admins harm joy add domain. And like my evil win um, evil win rm session isn't interactive so i can't seem to like do any cred type stuff and so i actually popped a interpreter shell but then my interpreter shell keeps dying like as i'm trying to do stuff it just times out
interesting. I didn't delete that much. users? Good question. So, I don't know if we can actually cover us that account. How do we get the password hash of that account?
sync. Sorry that I'm not talking. It's hard for me to talk and think <laughs> at the same time. We should load up power view. I'm, one second guys, I'm streaming on Discord, and is anyone here? Sorry Jack if you're here, it, it's causing my computer to bug out trying to do all this, so I'm going to only be on Twitch. Let me close Discord out, I think that's causing my computer to be slow. Is it import module or something? I didn't load it right. <laughs> Appreciate that, Hunter. But I know, like, one of the best ways I learn is this just struggling my way through it, you know, learning what works and what doesn't work. I'm just not sure. How do I freaking load PowerView? <laughs> like, I feel like it's an easy import module. import module
just go through some of this stuff that we have. I'm stuck. I mean, I feel like we got so much done yesterday and I've gotten nothing done tonight. Do you have any right over domain admins? I tried to just put myself in that group, but that didn't work. I can't set passwords for them. I don't know if you guys can hear my cat. He's just looking at me now. I don't know what he wants. Probably like he needs food or something. I'll feed you when I'm done streaming, cat. You don't get food until I become system on this box, cat. Might Might be a week before you get to eat again. Well, guys, I don't really know what to try. I don't think we can curb a roast.
so here's us member of member of generic all to this which I think we added ourselves to that group Keeps removing me from that group when I add myself. It's like a script that kicks me out of it. IT accounts member of this. Cat, leave me alone, my goodness. That's what we were looking at. I feel like I've done this multiple times. Why does it not stick? Why do you want me to throw a toy for him? What? <laughs> no, I can't. Yo, I'm hacking stuff, yo. Leave me alone. Do I need a load power view to run that? How do I use power view? I don't get how to import power view. I thought it was import module power view. Obviously not. I started it, it didn't do anything for me. You guys saw that. Doesn't do anything. I'm pretty sure it's DC sync. That's how we're gonna get admin. I just don't get how to get a better shell. I did. Look. Powerview.ps1. Doesn't do anything. Still can't use it. Wonder why that's not working. I think it's because my shell sucks, like Evo WinRM. But when I try to get a normal shell through like Meterpreter or PSExec, 
no extra. What am I doing wrong? Hold up. Am I doing it right now? Oh my gosh, Hunterbot, you're my hero. I mean, it didn't fail right away. I don't know if it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing, but we're getting somewhere. Thank you, sir. What was I looking at? Oh, is Bloodhound telling us what to do? Optionally specifying credit if you're not already running a process as them, which we are. Shoot, I still don't think it's gonna work because my shell sucks. I need an interact like a more interactive shell than Evil Win are in. I just don't know how to get it. Interpreter didn't seem to work. SSH isn't enabled. I bet when I go back on the box, I'm not part of that group anymore. Cleared me out. I might end up looking at a walkthrough. I have no idea what I'm missing. I'm missing something obvious, I'm sure. So I'm not streaming again till Tuesday. I don't want to let this sit till then. But I have to get to work like my, <laughs> my other job. I don't know. this over I tap out we got shell yep yep we did all this stuff right okay we did all this we use bloodhound Service accounts, privilege IT accounts, account operators. Yeah, yeah. I did this. I'm doing this exact thing. Oh, okay, so I had the same issue. So you have to move fast. That's what we're missing. It's it's kicking us out of the group right away. Huh. 
how the heck is this rated easy? <laughs> I don't even want to try the next ones. Insane. Insane. How, how is this? How the heck is this easy? Look at this. Add domain group member. We're adding service alfresco. Username equals that. Password service. That's insane. I mean, he's just kind of combining those commands we looked at together, but there's, there's no way. There's no way I would have gotten that. Oh, and it doesn't work. It's because I need to load PowerView first. No, Amoeba man, this is making no sense. Anytime you add yourself to the one exchange management group, it kicks you out of it. So I just, I gave up and finally looked at a walkthrough. We were doing everything right. I even had the DC sync attack down, like realizing that was the way to do it was a DC sync attack, but it kept kicking me out of that group. Um, and so like, apparently you have to run all of it as one line. <laughs> There's just no way I would have gotten that. I'm not in the group. Maybe it ran it successfully and it already kicked me out of the group. I think it's any account. Yeah, it's any account because I added Sebastian to it as well and he's kicked out. I'm not in that group, so. I don't think I can run Secrets Dump. We can try it, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh, it's actually the red IP. Nope, of course not. I'm literally copy and pasting from the write up and it still doesn't work. I want this tool. Don't need a setup. Does this tool work?
Oh, did I not put the password? Of course it wouldn't work. <laughs> Have you tried creating a new account? Let's try it. I think I did, but I don't remember now. Like, how does this not work? I'm, I'm following this. I don't know, guys. I might, I might give up. I don't really know what to do. I'm, I gave up and went to a write-up and so I still can't get it. Even following a write-up. And there's a hashes, but so I'm sure that would work, but I don't want to do it that way. what I did. Did all this. Yeah, I mean, I guess the benefit is I was able to find the groups. I'm just frustrated I can't actually exploit them. That, isn't that what I ran? That, ex like, basically exact command? Net, user, Tyler. Oh, it worked that time. So it created Tyler.
I don't remember if I looked into that or not. Cat. I feel like anytime I run these commands, it breaks. Oh well, I guess let's try it. This is my last time. I'm gonna copy and paste. This doesn't work. I'm not meant. I'm not meant to work. I'm not meant to make it work. so good. I just don't know how I would have figured this out. I guess I was kind of close. I was doing the right commands. <clears throat> Not know if you guys can hear my cat in the background, but he is driving me crazy. He wants me to throw a stupid zip tie for him. Why did that, why did it translate as that? typoed it wrong. It doesn't have an S in it.
Oh wait, not with him. I just think through this. I mean, I was I was so close. So now if we we have all these hashes. Yep, so you got the NTLM hash. We can pass the hash with Evo WinRM, I think. Is it, I always get this confused. Is it this one or is it the whole thing? Let's just copy it for now. syntax thing here oh my gosh quit doing that how stupid whoever runs this website y'all need to fix the way I can copy and paste <laughs> I specify our IP Just be this first one. Should be the last part gotcha i always confuse that i don't know why i can <laughs> i never get that right it always takes trial and error i think i probably always try the first part realize it doesn't work and then do the last part let's see oh my goodness we we're so close if it wouldn't have kicked me out of those groups, it would have worked, right? Because that's what I was doing. I added my account uh, before you joined me, man. I added my service account to that group and tried that exact command, and of course it failed. I'm going to kind of do a post op we're gonna reflect on this i don't even think i have tried to hack the box open stay signed in for a month please too hard whoops Shoot. <laughs> Too hard for a box ready is easy.
gosh, that was difficult. I wonder what other people said about it. So Amoeba Man said, I really think the issue might be using the existing users and accounts. They might have some weird rules or things for those accounts that kick you out, and they clearly do. That's why it was never working. I really think it's the account operators restrictions I was telling you about. Yeah. Oh, man. We are so close. So close. Let's look at what the next machine is. I'm obviously not going to start it. I got to get to work, but. Oh my gosh, cat, chill out. Sauna. So is this the people who rate it? So most people rated that box a medium. This next box, most people rated it a bit hard. Oh shoot, we're going to get pwned. <laughs> This one looks a little easier. Here's the one Amoeba Man's gonna do. Multi-master. All right, guys. I'm a little disappointed that I had to look up a walkthrough. I am encouraged that I was at least doing the right thing before looking up the walkthrough. Besides creating the account, I don't know why I, when I created the account the first time, what screwed me up is I did, um, actually I think I might have the command saved. This right here. And it would always just fail, like nothing would happen. My shell wouldn't work. So what I tried to do, maybe man, before you came on, is I popped a interpreter shell, thinking that would be a more stable shell, but then my interpreter shell kept crashing, kept dying. If you want, we can press try that L, L. So the L apt attack. Let's look at this quick. You cat, chill out. Would we have to RDP to do that? Oh. Is this what you're referring to? Sorry guys, I gotta throw a zip tie for my cat. Stop my recording real quick. Peace out, YouTube.